so much to share. Swinging through life on this great adventure, the spirit of nature will see you through. There are lessons to learn about life and its mysteries, lessons of love that are waiting for you. Look up, there's joy all around you. Nature is wondrous, but beware. The law of the jungle has a lesson for life. But you can still soar right up to the sky. Hold your head up high. Keep your courage inside. Ensure as the sun and the stars up above. Have you already forgotten what you were told? You break the truth at your peril. The law of the jungle must be obeyed. Remember! The waterproof! Pipe down. Stop it! Now! The law forbids us to fight at the drinking place. Careless brat is mine. I've laid claim to him, Happy. I tell you, a human cup is no fit prey for you, Sher Khan, any more than it was for your ancestor those many years ago. We all have paid dearly for his crime. Is that not enough? You know how he broke the law, and you know what the consequences were for all of us, and still you have not learned wisdom. Have you forgotten how you got your stripes? By what? What do you mean? Take heed. There is no place here for those who would defile the river. Go back to your lair. Now, go. I'm still hungry. You can't be. We just ate. Not much. I want a meal, Mowgli. A decent meal. When you spend the whole afternoon hunting and all you get is one stringy old rabbit, this does not constitute a decent meal. And I was lucky to get him. Most of the game is staying close to the river where we can't hunt. They know they're safe there. Thank you for sharing your prey with us. Say nothing of it. I only hope this coup ends soon. I have an idea. Let's go for a walk by the river. Maybe a drink of water will make us feel better. That's a good idea. Don't do anything foolish. Remember, the truce is still on. Sure, we just want a drink. I guess it's one way to pass the time. Hey, wait for me. I want to go with you. Why? Are you thirsty? No, it's happy. I want to ask what he meant when he talked about the tiger's crime. Do you know about it? I'm afraid not, Mowgli. I know a great deal of jungle lore, but I'm too young to know all the tales. Then why don't you come too, teacher? Maybe we'll both learn something. Hey! How's it going, Cross? I'm surviving.
driving. Happy, sir. This afternoon at the river, you talked about Shere Khan's ancestor and his terrible crime. What was it? What did he do? Why did Shere Khan go? I wanted to ask. Would you tell me the rest of the story, please, sir? Why? Others know it as well as I. Ka, and the Kaler, and Baloo. You mean they haven't told you, man cub? They've told me a lot, but nothing about that. Then it's time you knew. The tale concerns elephants and tigers and man. Perhaps it's fitting that I should tell it. <laughs> so you all want to hear it, do you? <laughs> Very well. Free creatures of the jungle, give ear to me and I will tell you a tale as old as the jungle itself. This is how it was told to me. In the beginning, when the jungle was new, and nobody knows when that was, all the animals were not as we are now. In those days, we walked together in peace. There was no drought. Delicious flowers, fruit and leaves flourished on every tree and we ate nothing else. There was plenty for all. But we had no fear of one another. Even then, there was one who was master of our jungle and of all other jungles, and her name was Sa. She was the first of the elephants. Now we fear humans more than anything else. That was not so then, for we knew no humans, and what you do not know, you cannot fear. Grapes, why don't you go find some for yourself? I don't feel like it. I want to relax in the sun. Anyway, why should I? These will do just fine. What's the matter? Too stingy to offer a friend a grape? Oh, come on. I didn't bring it for you, and you know it. Ah! You give them back. No. Try and make me. <laughs> You'll be sorry you didn't give me the help. Far what you You're gonna be in big trouble. Mom, we, we need, need your help. What is it? He stole my grave. That's not true. I did not. It is right. And so the bucks began to fight over their food, although there was enough for all. And it wasn't just the deer. All the animals grew lazy and began to quarrel among themselves. But Pa had other jungles to rule. She couldn't spend all her time here settling fights. She needed a deputy to judge in her place. In those days, the tiger was beautiful. His coat was soft gold with no stripes at all. Pa made the first of the tigers the judge of this jungle, while she walked other paths. And this was the first dispute the tiger had to settle. I was hungry, so I went looking for grapes, and he grabbed them! So what? You weren't gonna starve! There are more where those came from! Quiet! That's no way to come before the judge of the jungle! So behave yourselves if you can! <laughs> <laughs>
to the meeting place fast. Whoa, it's an emergency. I can hardly believe it. Someone has taken the lives of our friends. I've never seen anything like it before. Who on earth could have done this? I don't know. What a horrible thing to happen. Is this true? Speak. We don't know. We have no idea. When we come to the school, it is as I fear. Who is responsible for this? We don't know. No one saw us. They were like that when I found them, both lying so still. Oh, dear. Will the guilty one confess? No, I see not. Trees that hang low, hear me. And all you trailing creepers of the jungle who witnessed this foul deed, I charge you all. When he who did it comes among you, let down your branches and draw your fingers across his back that I may know him. And that is how trouble first came to the jungle. The first of the tigers forgot he was a judge and committed a crime. Tigers were bad even way back then. You know, the first of the tigers sounds exactly like Shere Khan. That is how we of the jungle cease to be one people living in peace and split up into tribes. At least I can think, which is more than you can say. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sure, your tail's bushier than mine, and mighty silly it looks too. You ever thought of trimming it? Why don't you go climb a tree, you blackhead? And it grew worse. Soon, all the animals in the jungle did nothing but lie around all day, arguing with each other to their shame. <laughs> the first of the tigers was afraid that his guilt would be discovered. So he stayed quietly in his lair for a long time and waited to see what would happen. At last, one day, Sa returned to the jungle. This anarchy must be stopped. It's time for a law in the jungle, a law you must obey. Already two bucks lie still and will not move again, for then it is too late. But not for you who are left. For now, you will know fear. I do not mean the little fears you have learned in my absence. The fear of quarrels and of hurtful words. I mean the great fear. What is the great fear? How will we recognize it? Search for it and you will find it. It is easy to recognize. When you have found this fear, you will know beyond doubt that it is your master. Listen well, and I will tell you the law that comes from fear. This fear that'll be our master, what's it like, Cod, you know? Of course. Be patient, Mowgli. Hathi's getting there. Okay, but I want to know more about the first of the tigers. This is the law that Sa gave to all the people of the jungle. Now then, this is the law and it must be obeyed. When you find the fear that is your master, never, seven times never, presume to attack it. For if you do, it will follow your trail for the rest of your days. Such is the law that must be obeyed. If you attack, Fear will follow your trail for the rest of your days, and it will find you. That was the law as Sar proclaimed it. When she was sure they had all understood, she left to walk other paths for a while. Every creature in the jungle began to search for fear. They searched day and night and high and low. <laughs> You haven't seen a fear 
around, have you? No. What's the fear look like, anyway? You finished searching the bushes, huh? Did you find anything? Not a thing. What about you? Any luck? No, not yet. Wait a minute. I have an idea. If this fear thing is master, it must be bigger than far. That's right. So I'm just wasting my time looking for a down rabbit hole. I'm going to try the other side of the ridge. See ya. Keep your eyes open. What about the river bed? No, it looks just the same as always. I found it. Huh? I found the fear. I found the fear. Where is everybody? What? What is that mean? You found the fear, did you say? Tell me, where is it and what does it look like? It was fear. I know it was. So it was right. Of course. Where is this fear? Over there, at the foot of the cliff, in a cave. There isn't a single hair on its body. Would you believe it? And worse than that, it walks on its hind legs. I tell you, I was petrified. So that's fear, is it? I think I'll go over and take a look. I'll soon straighten this out, I do. You can't do that. Don't you remember? Thor said we must never attack it. Thor said, Thor said, Thor's an old stick in the mud. That's what she is. No, I'm a master of the jungle and I'm going to conquer fear and then even Thor will bow to me. Huh? And so the first of the tigers set out for the cave at the foot of the cliff. To get there, he had to go through the forest. The branches and the creepers remembered Thar's command and obeyed it. You are bothering me with your growls and your silly stripes. What do you mean, silly stripes? You'll pay for that, Baldy. I'll tear you limb from limb. You look pretty dumb. Black and yellow, just like a wasp. Hold your tongue, hairless one. Just wait. In a quick second, it was all over. Bow to me, all of you, for I have conquered fear! <laughs> now he's done it. We do fall find out. Bob's gonna be really angry. She warned us never to do that. Huh? What's this? You are a fool. Do you believe you have conquered fear? It is not so. All you have done is defeat one man, and his fellows will want revenge. Because of you, the humans will hunt us all forever. Twice you have brought trouble to the jungle. First the fox, and now this. Have you anything to say in your defense? You're wrong. I had nothing to do with the fox. Nothing to do with the fox? If that is so, tell me, how came you by your stripes? <laughs> Shut up, you fools! It's just a bit of mud! <laughs> That is the tale of the first law of the jungle, and how it was made, and why. Shere Khan's ancestor broke that law, and all of us have suffered the consequences. That explains a lot, Happy. Thank you.
the tail was long and it late. Return to your lairs before the moon sets. Good night, Mowgli. Good night. What a story. Well, now you know why Shere Khan hates you so much. That's just what I was thinking, Bagheera. It explains a lot. I guess he thinks it's my fault he has great. Happy said jungle animals must fear you. But I don't think he has to fear all of them. After all, when I was in trouble a while ago, it was a human who helped me out. It's funny, he made noises with his mouth, but I couldn't understand him. I wouldn't worry about it, Mowgli. Whatever he meant, he did you no harm, did he? Not a bit. You're right, though. We can trust some you. Mowgli, huh? Oh, hi, Baloo. You must be extra careful to stay out of Shere Khan's way. He's determined to catch you, and he's not the type to give up easily. Okay. All the time Happy was telling the story, I kept thinking about Shere Khan. I know he'll keep trying, but he may be in for a surprise. I'm smarter than he is. I'm sure I can beat him. Maybe so, Handcuff, but Baloo's right. You have a bad enemy there. You'd better practice with your fang tomorrow. Okay, I like that. A child is learning in nature's special way. He's beginning to see all the beauty in this world today. His eyes are gleaming at every sight and sound with he feels that love is all around But this world can be confusing And learning can be hard When lessons that you are 